Hello everyone, welcome to a video that I've been trying to make for over a year. As many of you know, I've been doing YouTube for about four to five years now. But you probably don't know what it actually took to get here. Or what I had to do, what steps I had to take to get to this position. I know I'm not a big YouTuber like Tanker or Bandits. But I'm in a position where 90% of people haven't got to yet. So I want to share my story on how I got here to maybe inspire you guys if you want to be up and coming YouTubers. Or if you just want to achieve your goals. Because I can safely say it's not easy and it's rewarding. I started this channel in December 2019 after quitting my last channel. With my first video being on a game called Arcade Tycoon. This video is private now because the second episode literally had no audio, so that shows how good I was. I remember vividly getting the headset that had a mic, and that's why I recorded my first few videos on. It was quite funny how big they are compared to my head. But the videos didn't do well. The first 20 were equally as bad as my first, with the thumbnails being bad, the titles being bad, and... Generally, just no editing going into them at all. Right off the bat. What's happened? Well, uh, I think you killed yourself, mate. But the first breakthrough I had was on a game called Theme Park Tycoon 2, which was a game that was quite popular, similar to Arsenal, and it didn't have many videos being made on it. So, naturally, I did get some traction. A few months later, there was the Bloxy Awards. The Bloxies are an award ceremony that happened every single year on Roblox. And 2019 was the year that Arsenal actually won the game of the year. And I had played Arsenal before on my Xbox. And I didn't really like it. So I gave it a try on PC. And immediately, I was hooked. When I say I played this game religiously... I mean it. Every chance I got, I would boot up the PC and play the game to try and get my first win. And when I did, that was the most viewed video on my channel to this point. Yes, we did it! We did it! And in this video is where I saw a comment from a fan asking me to do live streams. And at the time, I was debating whether to try it. And looking back on it, this is where my channel really did start to take off. At the time, I really didn't believe in it, but I actually gave it a go myself. And the first live stream, I got more views than any of my videos up to that point. I probably made over 600 live streams on Arsenal. This is how I got my first, like, 4,000 subscribers. It was due to pure live streams. The videos really didn't do anything. I was making videos at the time as well, but none of them were good. It was from then my channel just started blowing up and I used to do collabs, I joined tournaments. This is how I've made multiple friends. YouTube itself got me to speak to more people. At the time I wasn't really social in school and all that. So realistically, I had a few friends from school, but my main social stuff was online and it was through Arsenal, which is crazy to think. Some of the friends I have now are literally made from Arsenal and Roblox. So it's just crazy. People used to raid me. I used to raid them back. And that's how I got to know a lot of the big YouTubers. And famously, Tanker even joined my stream. <laughs> Can I just kill myself again? But this time in real life. But yes, the biggest YouTuber on Arsenal ever, undoubtedly, was Tanker, and he joined my stream. If I say I fanboyed, that would be a major understatement. But in 2022, everything kind of changed. Everything became repetitive. Arsenal barely got any updates, so I started slowing down, and my views on my live stream, well, they were just doing normal. They were doing fine because after you gain subscribers you have expectations and if you don't meet those you kind of get a bit demotivated the big problem was actually hackers the hackers were joining my stream and then crashing the server and some of these hackers just wouldn't stop some of them were nice some of them just went you know what i'll leave you others went nah mate we are ruining your life as you know it and 
they just crash my server every single time. This made me really go like into a stage where I just didn't want to make videos or stream anymore. So I took a break and switched game to Roblox Bed Wars. The videos I made on Roblox Bed Wars were quite good, um, but the, there were so many YouTubers making videos on it that my videos just got lost in the middle of the pack. I felt hard done by, if I'm being honest, but looking back, my videos probably weren't the best. Um, they're not as good as I probably thought. I was coming in and out of Bed Wars and Arsenal. I was um, switching between the two, and this wasn't great for my channel. My videos were just getting super low views. But the thing is, it didn't stop me. So I found this game called Base Battles, which was recommended to me by a friend. And when I started making videos on this, my first video did a lot better than I expected, and a lot better than my videos prior, which were Arsenal and Bed Wars. So I kept this game, Made five or six videos, all of which got decent views. Like, one of them is on, like, 9,000 views now. So then, I wanted to implement the same formula in my Arsenal videos. What happened? The peak of my channel. And that was just crazy. For a channel with only, like, 6,000 subscribers, I grew. And th this era went on for about... Five to six months. I was making one video a week and each video did really well. Like, I was starting to feel like a proper YouTuber. And this was basically my downfall. I didn't realize how much of a burnout you'd feel making videos. Because at this point, there was no updates on Arsenal. So I had to think of things people would enjoy, make it kind of original, which I didn't ra manage to do, I'll be honest. I, d I didn't really manage that. I remember... Going up, I think it was a thousand subscribers in a month, which I had never seen anything like that. I um, previously had a really good month when I was doing live streaming, 500 subscribers, and just a crazy amount of views, which was from raids and mostly most because of that. But never had I seen a channel doing so well. I was getting about 10,000 views a day, which you might think isn't a lot, but when you upload once a week, and your average is 10,000 views a day. That is scary how how much you're making, how many views you're, you're getting. But yeah, with YouTube, you need tons of dedication. And you don't have much room to make mistakes. Um, it's what I've noticed. Because I did, I did make a few bad videos that weren't um, along the same style. And it really did mess the channel. Made, made, made the views not grow, but like just stabilize. Which I wasn't very, I didn't really hate, but again, it felt demotivating. And I eventually just had enough. I stopped making videos for a few months, came back, made a few videos, did well, came back again. Eventually, I left it to, for too long. And we are in a situation right now where I need to make these videos count. If I believe and I take action and do it, I think I can do it, guys. I think I can make this channel a good place for people to watch content, make it entertaining. And that is my story on how I became an Arsenal YouTuber. And if you have heard me sniffling all video, the reason for that is because I'm using... Well, I, I'm using... I'm going to end this video off with a win for the boys. The guy rage quit as well. But in all seriousness, guys, I'm going to end this video off by saying thank you for the years that you've been watching me. And thank you so much for supporting me throughout the years. Um, I know this may seem like a goodbye video, but ironically, this is the start. This is the building phase of my channel. And if you're here to stay, thank you so much. And if you don't want to watch these videos, that is absolutely fine. You guys can enjoy other people. Um, but I am back and we'll see how everything goes. Thank you, everyone. And I will see you guys in the next one. See ya.